Good morning, folks. It was a calm day on the sun. Slight filament release creating the expanding canyon of light on the north of the sun here in 211 angstroms. But we've got other filaments dancing in and out of the earth-facing side of our star over the limbs. For weeks now, filaments have provided the majority of the CMEs rather than flares. Primary features right now are the filaments straddling the dark coronal hole, thin dark filament ropes below and to the left of that opening. Those will remain the top eruption threat as solar flaring is not expected to return today. The sunspot situation remains pitiful, and these little guys are not going to be enough. But, that's the sun. Things aren't so calm back here on Earth. I see a CME impact along with a faster solar wind stream, and despite NASA and NOAA expecting impact tonight, both us and Tony Phillips predicted it yesterday, and indeed it hit with force, producing a level 2 geomagnetic storm. Eyes open for more today. But that's not all. The coronal hole directly faces Earth, and it's our primary earthquake factor. Right now, the watch index is elevated to high, and we begin with two six-pointers striking New Zealand along with multiple aftershocks. We also had above-average quakes in Nevada, and another down in Mexico. Top story of the day comes from Thailand. Multiple dashboard cams caught a fireball entering the daylight hours over populated areas and burning up only 62 miles above the surface. There were no damages or injury like with the Russian fireball a few years back, but it was a splendid sight and was seen by tens of thousands of people. Top weather news of the day comes from Kazan, Russia, where enormous hail left downtown utterly hammered. 30 roofs were completely destroyed. Numerous injuries have been reported. Been a lot of crazy hail lately. A new storm near Japan makes two tropical systems in the West Pacific, two systems in the east as well, including Hurricane Linda, and then we've got Grace in the Atlantic heading west towards the Caribbean. Website members, featured content today is whatever catch-up or archive digging you need to do on our regular programs, Deeper Look and Fly on the Wall. The episodes from just this year in 2015 take days to get through. In less than six weeks, Observing the Frontier comes to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Our 2015 Eastern show is October 17th and 18th. Westerners, we're coming out to Phoenix in January. Observing the Frontier. Tickets at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got severe weather alerts in the Midwest today where the convergence will be found at sunset. The top alert in Europe is still offshore and is just a warning for now, and the low between nations here draws its convergence back up to the Queensland coastline. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.